Hello drama fans. How are you? There are, were some videos that I was watching oh, over a year ago, maybe even a year and a half ago with this paint made by this company. PBO. It is a French company and it finally made its way to the US I don't know when, several months ago, I guess, and I wanted to try this paint to, to see if I can get those. It, it makes this bubbly uh, effect. They, it, it's like an effect paint, and um, I really wanted to try. If you want to see what I'm talking about, just Google, or not Google, just look in, in YouTube for PBO fantasy moon or fantasy paint and you'll see a bunch of videos made by PBO and you can see the effect I'm talking about. I'm not getting that effect and I'm not sure if I bought the wrong stuff or or what but it's not doing what I wanted it to do but it's still a beautiful gorgeous fun paint and I'm always looking for ways to decorate cabochons that I can use in my beadwork so I have these old here's one I painted yesterday I use two colors of this paint and it's I think it's really pretty but I'm not getting that funky effervescent kind of <laughs> effect that it's advertised um, maybe I'm not using enough I maybe the surface is not a, maybe the surface has something to do with it I don't know these were old uh, polymer clay cabs that I was screwing around with I don't know, a couple years ago and they were like a cookie like I said polymer clay <clears throat> And uh, so I thought I'd experiment on these because I wasn't real crazy about how these turned out. This one, I'm going to show you, I'm going to paint and you can see what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I hated this one. It's just ugly. But it's still a fun shape, like a cookie, that I can use in something. I'm probably a necklace or something. So, and I use something, I need to get a Teflon sheet, I guess. So it won't stick. This is just the top of a plastic, little plastic container. I'm sure you can find something. Put it on. And this set came with six colors that are semi um, uh, complementary, I guess. They're, there's a dark blue and a gold and this like aqua color and silver. And this apricot I'm crazy about. I love this. And this gorgeous, gorgeous red. I'm beautiful. It's just these two are beautiful. So I'm going to be using these two colors together on this one. And uh, I'm not going to be able to have time to let it dry, but I'll take pictures close up so you can see. And I didn't use brushes. In the video, there's lots of videos. Most of them are Italian, believe it or not. A couple of them are French. There are French videos from Dick Blick. I bought this set from DickBlick.com, which happens to have a warehouse here in Michigan. So I got it in a day, which is nice. Uh, it was fifteen dollars, sixteen, fifteen, sixteen dollars, I think, plus uh, ten bucks to have it shipped today. I only got it. I got it in twenty-four hours. Um, so yeah. Uh, but it says you got to mix it really well so I'm going to shake and I'm going to mix and I just use popsicle sticks I'm going to use these two semi complementary colors together because I'm not feeling really adventurous today <laughs> I'm just not um, I'm going to make things easy on myself So I took a stick and I also I stirred it with the stick to 
make sure everything was really mixed up. And uh, didn't do anything fancy, just drizzled it on there. I just took the stick and didn't even hardly make a pattern. Just blopped it on. And mix this other color. I love this color. It's so beautiful. What I discovered is that it doesn't work real well with domed objects because the color, it's very viscous and the stuff just runs right off. Like you know, just drips right off, comes off. And so you need to paint this on something that's semi-flat, as these cabs are. Um, yeah, I was really disappointed. I was hoping it would be thicker that I could paint on, you know, domed cabs to see how that worked out. And it didn't. Kind of bummed. And then I thought, well, if I painted the back of, say, the back of a dome where it's flat, maybe I can get that moon crater kind of bubbly effect, and it didn't work at all. I was bummed. But when you paint the tops like this, it does kind of work. So and then I took a pick, these wooden, like a toothpick, something, something semi-pointy, just kind of start swirling around, get it to the edges. And it takes about, it says on the package, 10 hours to dry, more like 24, especially in this, this climate that's cold and not real warm. Oh, I like that. Looks like the sun. So, let me recap these. And now I'm getting a little bubbles. I don't know if I, how close I can get this. Can you kind of see the little, little, like, bubbles forming? They're not bubbles. They're like, ugh, I don't know how to describe them. Like little separations, round separations in the color itself. It's amazing. Really cool. Keep this from the edge. Move, move a little bit. Reeks a really fantastic, so awesome. And this color works the best so far. This apricot color and generating that effect. I haven't really tried the other ones. Oops. So after a couple of hours, I'll transfer it from this top to the paper towel and uh, maybe be set up a little better but I can do that. I don't want it sticking to anything but I don't know how I can avoid that. 
Loving it. Love this color. Love it. So beautiful. So would I recommend this for decorating your cabochons? Yeah, I would. Especially if they're flat. Like I said, the domed ones. Not so much. Didn't really work. Amazing. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I got it out of that lid. And it's it looks like the sun. Come on. Come on there. Focus. Come on, focus. Eh. There. Doesn't it? Look at it. You see the little... They aren't holes. <laughs> they're, they're like round separations that it just makes in the paint. And it's really cool. And I didn't get the same effect with this one. But it weaves a gorgeous, glossy, shiny finish that's really nice. And I love the way it blends. Beautiful. So I don't know if I'll be buying more of this paint in different colors. I might. Uh, they come in a bigger jar. These are the tiny ones, but I think the bigger jars are more. You know, they come with m more product in there. About $7, I think, for uh, the bigger jar. And I think these would be beautiful to to work with, to bead with. I just wish it was a little thicker that I could get it on a domed object and not necessarily a totally flat one. To clean this stuff off, uh, the bottle says to use a, a non, oh, what is it? Odorless mineral spirit. If you're going to if you use brushes, if you want to clean your brushes, I imagine you can thin this product with the same thing, a couple drops if you wanted to. I I wouldn't. <laughs> but, so that's it. Working on bead embroidery project for you. I don't know how it's going to work out. It is pretty. They are pretty. It is. So, thank you. Pebio, Pebio, am I butchering that name? Pebio, Pebeo, I don't know. <laughs> it's great, beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm gonna have fun with this. That's it. See you next week. You own what you know. Bye. <laughs>